Okay, uh, this is the uh, morning weather update for Alexandria, Virginia for July the 9th, uh, and it's about 8.30 a.m. Uh, today we are under a, um, a slight threat for severe uh, weather. That actually is an elevated, it's elevated uh, even though it doesn't sound like a the word slight means much, but it is a, uh, something that needs to be taken uh, seriously. Um, actually, this uh, uh, condition that has been signaled for the last probably five days, I've been mentioning it on and off over the last five days, and it was, wasn't until yesterday afternoon that the Storm Prediction Center did put us in this uh, yellow area. DC is right on the edge of the yellow area. Uh, and they are saying that we have about a 2% probability for uh, tornadoes. We have a 5%, perhaps even as high as 15% probability for damaging winds and uh, no chance of hail. And let me show you the College of DuPage's um, uh, Supercell Composite Index has actually been signaling this uh, uh, severe weather threat uh, for today f probably since um, uh, at least uh, last Saturday or Sunday. Um, the, this is the uh, latest run of the North American model. Uh, DC is right about in this area. And if you notice, their composite index has us clearly in the orange area and even perhaps in the red area. There's two red areas, one up in central Pennsylvania and one that crosses uh, Maryland into northern Virginia. And if we uh, move this slightly, I want to show you what happens. If you keep an eye on that red area, this is at 5 p.m. And if we move this just a little bit this way, you notice how how the uh, the orange and red area moves from the northwest to the southeast. Uh, uh, in, and I really think this is suggesting that between uh, 5 and 8 p.m., the severe weather may come from the northwest and go uh, to the southeast through the D.C. area. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to think that this is suggesting that the real threat is not going to be up in central Pennsylvania, but in fact is going to be in the D.C. and central uh, Maryland area. Perhaps uh, uh, it, it could be more towards Baltimore rather than D.C., but I really do think there is a significant uh, uh, threat and we need to keep very alert uh, today, certainly after uh, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, this uh, timing should be, the action should get probably started about uh, 4 p.m. and may last as late as 9 p.m. today. Uh, let me show you buff kit. This is, again, the North American model. Let me bring it up, clear it a little bit. This is set for 6 p.m. and this is the point data directly over uh, Reagan uh, National Airport. Uh, it, it specifically looks at the air column over uh, National Airport. And um, if we notice, we got lots of reds over here. We got a little rain uh, indicated here. Uh, but the thing to, to look at is the uh, severe weather uh, threat index. And it, uh, this is the peak at 6 p.m. and. Uh, Anything 400 or above means there's a possibility of tornadic activity, activities. It doesn't mean there's a tornado, but it may, means that there could conceivably be uh, uh, a storm with, with substantial rotation, which usually indicates uh, you know, strong winds. Um, we have a peak here of about uh, uh, 2,400 uh, uh, in the uh, convective available potential en energy, which is very high, definitely uh, would support a supercell. And in fact, just uh, an hour uh, uh, before at 5 p.m., it goes up to 2,600. So uh, we definitely have a threat for uh, severe weather uh, about that time. And uh, I don't think, let's look at the overview. It, it's not really uh, uh, that. Um, uh, interesting other than uh, the fact that we have a, a very high cloud level building 
about 5 p.m. We're talking about uh, cloud tops uh, perhaps at 40,000 feet. Um, by, um, by 6 p.m., we got a double layer. We got these high cloud tops and, uh, and very, uh, very low. What this also is saying is that we may not get a whole lot of rain. These things are going to be quick uh, coming through here. And um, so they may very well have a high rain rate, but it won't hang around long. I doubt that they're going to train like they did uh, yesterday. So I think what our biggest threat today is the possible wind damage and, uh, of course, the lots of, you know, frequent lightning, cloud, cloud to ground lightning. So definitely need to stay weather aware. I'm going to show you a couple of other things here. Um, this is the HRRR, uh, the high resolution rapid refresh. It, it only looks out about 15 hours and uh, it's updated every hour. Uh, this is the latest run. It just completed. Uh, I actually was waiting to do this broadcast until it uh, completed. Um, this is, let me move this up to, this is 7 a.m. And this is uh, the water vapor in the air. Uh, this is, let me see, this is 6 p.m. 6 p.m. D.C. and Alexandria uh, is here. What we have is uh, this line of very uh, high uh, humidity air. And if you look at the way this moves, it in fact moves from the northwest to the southeast, though it seems like it goes from northwest to east. But I really think that the way this is going to play out is somewhere between 4 and 5. We're going to start getting a lot of lift in the atmosphere. Uh, we, we definitely have the water vapor. Let me switch over to Cape. Okay, we at this is at 5, 6, 7. This is at uh, 5 p.m. Um, we're in a green area, which is uh, pretty elevated. That's going to be in the, about 1800 uh, Cape. Uh, if we move it up a little bit, we start seeing these little pockets of high Cape. And, uh, and then uh, by, um, uh, by 7 uh, p.m., it starts uh, dropping in our area. But I want to also show you some other models. This is the high-resolution NAM. This is again set at 4 p.m. This is at 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., 7 p.m. So if you look at, at the high resolution uh, uh, NAM, DC's here, it's showing that the uh, um, line of potential storms are out in West Virginia about 4 p.m. Uh, or 5 p.m and that they are, are going to cross through in that direction, but they do not show it very strong. If we do switch over to Cape, though, um, you see that uh, at 5 p.m. we have a very elevated Cape just to the west of D.C., and if we look at the water vapor in the air, the water vapor is back here, but the, it, it does tend to move into the D.C. area uh, about seven, and um, so again, uh, this uh, high resolution uh, North American model is sort of downplaying it, saying it's going to go through western Pennsylvania or central Pennsylvania, uh, the um, Baltimore area, but I'm still not convinced. Uh, this is the regular NAM uh, set to. Let me I have to keep switching back here. Let's see. This is 2 p.m. Um, and we have a very high level of Cape just to our west. Uh, the water vapor is still over in the mountains. And if we advance this a little f farther forward, uh, this is 8 p.m. We got quite a bit of moisture over D.C. The, the big area is going to be up here in the Baltimore uh, area. And if we look at the Cape, if we back this up a little bit, we see we have a uh, high level of Cape right about 5 p.m. Uh, just to our west. And so really the critical thing today is how much sun we get because the more sun, the more Cape we're going to have in the D.C. area. And the timing of uh, the uh, moist air uh, ahead of the, uh, the advancing cold front 
uh, if that uh, comes in, if we've had a lot of sun and if we're close to the low 90s by uh, 4 or 5 p.m., I, I think uh, we have a very strong likelihood of getting uh, some severe weather today. So you need to stay weather aware probably from about uh, at least 1 or 2 p.m. this afternoon. Should have, you know, listen to my tweets, listen to any of the other uh, 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 weather uh, forecasters in the D.C. area and uh, and just keep uh, apprised of it. It is possible that the rush hour is going to be difficult today, so you need to be aware of that. Um, to sum it up, I don't think there's going to be as much rain as yesterday, uh, but uh, the, the big problem is the potential for quick uh, downpours that will reduce visibility on the highway for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, uh, I think I'll wrap it up there. And if you have any questions, uh, give me a tweet at Pat Penn, P-A-T-P-E-N-D, and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. I may do a, an update uh, probably afternoon today. Uh, if there's anything that really significantly changes, otherwise I'll be tweeting out uh, the uh, any changes uh, on uh, on Twitter. Thanks a lot.